It was a rainy morning, but my artificed raincoat repelled the drizzle as I made my way into town. As ever with bad weather, Coiner's Way was quieter than usual, and only the people who couldn't avoid it were walking the streets. The rain amplified people's footsteps as they splashed through the puddles that formed on the cobblestone pavements, but the rain also seemed to have the strange effect of dulling the scents in the air. Only vague teasings of the normally delicious aromas came from rolls and dough or the King's Head's kitchen. I found Paisley outside her store, where she had brought out a fold-out wooden table on which she'd arranged a display of multicoloured and different-sized umbrellas. Supply and demand she told me. The sky supplies are in, and people demand to be dry. I got you a bagel, I said, handing her the snack I'd bought from rolls and dough on my way here. Thanks, I skipped breakfast. Way I see it, if sales aren't what I expected, then it's down to me to make them so. That means opening the store earlier and staying here later. You still need a break from time to time, I said. Chris is only working for half the day, and he said he'd look after the store for a while this afternoon. I held up a hiker's backpack for her to see. I have something for you. You finished one of the backpacks? Thanks. Don't worry about the canteens and the other backpacks if you're busy. I know Mr. Cooper works you like a donkey. I've always liked donkeys, mules and asses, so I didn't mind the comparison at all. Besides, I had a surprise for her. Opening the artificed backpack, I took out all the other backpacks and the canteens that I'd stored inside it. There was no better way to show off my artificery to her and Paisley couldn't help a surprised laugh. She immediately snatched a backpack from me and appraised it with what I'd come to recognise as her merchant's stare. I found myself holding my breath, waiting for her response. Then, realising that I was being silly, I relaxed a little. These are great, she told me. Really great. I regret everything I said to Chris about artificery now. What did you say? Doesn't matter. Come on, come inside. Paisley had lit an incense stick to fill her store with pleasant aromatic air. I watched as she got to work arranging her new stock in a space she'd cleared over by Mo Henderson's scarves. Outside, the rain gently pattered on the windows, as though asking to be let in, and it gave me the same cosy feeling as sitting under a porch and watching the sky do its thing, safely tucked inside a warm and dry place. Paisley had really done a great job in giving her store a comforting air. Okay, done, she said. Looks excellent. What now? She laughed. Now we wait for customers. Being a merchant can be quite boring at times, you know.